Hello, hello, guys. <laughs> this, this is uh, me coming to you uh, from uh, New Orleans. I'm in the Big Easy. Um, it was a really crazy day today, uh, as you can hear by my voice. Um, we had a lot of fun. Uh, I'm out here. What's up, Michael Ray? Uh, what's new, my man? Uh, we had a we had a really great time today. Um, and uh, <laughs> broke gear, ran from cops. Um, just all in all, it was really a, a crazy day. So I just wanted to kind of share things with you guys. It's been a little, it's been a minute since I've been able to speak with you guys. So let me just <laughs> share some of the craziness. Slave to none. What's up, my man? Anyway, out here in New Orleans, and um, I took my lights in there, Santa Maria Guadalupe. Que onda, mi amigo? Uh, and uh, what's up, Greg? And uh, out here in New Orleans, and um, my man, Sweeter Do. So give my man Sweeter Do. Uh, um, what's up, David? Give him a shout out. But um, he he does a lot of abandoned stuff. And I hooked up with him last time I was here because we were in um, we were in um, New Orleans. Emily and I were here in New Orleans doing uh, the documentary. And so anyway, Sweeter Do does a lot of urbex, and he's been following me for a while. Anyway, Sweeter Do said, "Dude, you got to come check this out. There's this mansion in." Um, New Orleans that Little Wayne and Birdman used to own and <laughs> you could come out here. <laughs> and I'm like, are you freaking serious? So we've been working on this for a couple of weeks. So we get all the way out there where, where we go through the house. I filmed, the, I filmed this too, guys. We get into the house. <laughs> this is funny. We get into this big ass mansion. Okay. And we're sitting there um, having a good time and uh, I'm shooting two models. One is named Zoe. The other's name is um, Anna. And we're out there shooting. And um, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm slimming down, right? Thanks. Thanks, Carl. Anyway, so <laughs> we're in there filming. And Russ, that's actually sweeter do. Uh, Russ goes outside. He goes, dude, I think I see a car. <laughs> so he goes outside. And there's like cop cars, like four cop cars. Um, and so he's like, we got to get out of here now. So we um, got our gear and started hustling out. Now, I will tell you this much. I've been working hard on exercising. So this, this really paid off dividends for this particular trip. And so <laughs> we tell the models, get your stuff, get out. And then we tell, then I had two, I had Theo with me. He's, he's a, he's a follower of mine. Awesome guy. Theo was there and then Russ was there. <laughs> so we're packing up all the gear. Well, if you missed it, that's, where's that back? Anyway, if you missed my post, um, my Godox 8600 smashed on the ground. So we totally lost um, my Godox 8600. And then, um, so it smashed. And I think the smash is what the cops heard. And so then we get the bags and we're walking out. And again, this is a big mansion. And so there's, now it's abandoned guys. It's been abandoned since Katrina. It was ruined by Katrina. So we're walking out and we're, we're briskly walking. That's what we called it, a brisk walk. We're briskly walking out and <laughs> Russ is ahead of me. And Russ says, the, the cops are there. And I said, where? And he said, they're right behind you. And I'm like, if they're not saying stop, you keep going. And he's like, what? I said, keep going, Russ. I swear I'm going to put that on a shirt. Keep going, Russ. And so <laughs> the cops are sitting there on the uh, on the steps of the mansion. We're we're about halfway in the backyard. Now, again, it's in, it's in a state. So the fedora gang. That's right. And so, <laughs> keep on going, Russ. And so we're walking out and I'm dragging my freaking bag and everyone's dragging gear. <laughs> the girls are running ahead and we're going out of a gate that we got in that's open. And so we got out of the gate and then the girls, they go, <laughs> bless their little hearts. The girls go and pull open the, or pull on the handle for the car, sets off the car alarm. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me because we sent the girls ahead. So, you know, we can get out of there. And so they go to the car, the alarm's going off. I'm trying to run my big, big ass over to this car to set the alarm off. That's parked on the street. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cops, the cops are looking at us and Russ, came, Russ, he's so hilarious. He just stops and he's like, Jason, the cops are there. I said, yeah. He said, the cops are there. I said, keep going, Russ, keep going. And so <laughs> Theo was like, I'm going. And I told Russ, I'm going. And so we, we get out of the gate, we get in. 
<laughs> so we have the video cameras and stuff. They're on, um, they're on tripods and everything else. <laughs> and it's just, it's just freaking like, a, um, I don't know, whatever, a bank robbery. Um, we're getting the, the tripods and the cameras and, I said, whatever you guys can hold on to, hold on to, because I'm hitting it. Now, the really thing, the funny thing about this whole thing is that our getaway vehicle is a minivan. I arrived, <laughs> I arrived last night, um, and I'm part of the, the president's circle for Hertz. And I get there, and you're supposed to be able to pick any car. And I get there, and it's just, that's it. It's just minivans. And so I'm like, well, I guess I guess my, my sweet ride is a Dodge Caravan. So we, we get into the minivan. I tell the girl, just hop in, get in, whatever it is, go. And then um, Russ <laughs> was sitting in the front seat. He's holding on to the camera and the tripod legs, he didn't, <laughs> he couldn't shrink them down. The tripod legs are sticking out of the car. And I said, get your feet in, Russ, because this car is going. And so, at any rate, we took off. We went to a Burger King. Once we got to the Burger King, we reconvened. We got all of the gear packed up. Unfortunately, the uh, the the Godox 8600 did not make it, and uh, so it's it's busted. It's busted to bits. Um, and then after that, we went to a an abandoned train yard that was awesome. It was awesome, and you know it ended up being a really it, it ended up being a blessing in disguise because we did the. Um, I pulled out the new Rotolite. Now you guys are going to see the new Rotolite. If you didn't know, there's a brand new Rotolite coming out on Thursday. And so we pulled out the Rotolite. Russ is holding it. And Russ is so funny. I got <laughs> the sweeter do. He cracks me up. <laughs> um, but he held the light. We got some really, really cool shots. Sup, pimps and hoes. What's up, baby? Busted by the go cops. Go to us. Exactly. But uh, it was just a really sweet day. Um, tomorrow... Guys, I have so much to share with you guys. I've been working on, I've been working on my health. I've been working on on my exercise. You guys can tell I'm I'm trimming down. I'm feeling I'm feeling really good. Um, and then on top of that, just we've been working on some kick ass videos for you guys. I mean, freaking kick ass videos. If you don't think I'm coming out with videos, you are wrong. We have so much for you guys. Um, have, we, have I ever done a, a tutorial on how I light and shoot my videos, that documentary style vid you do? Well, thank you. Um, I could. To be honest, the vast majority of the time I'm, more, I'm using Rotolite, so it's, 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 it's lit, I mean, to be honest with you. But uh, be, uh, was a volunteer police officer in New Orleans. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about that. At any rate, we, we have some incredible videos coming for you guys. Um, if you guys didn't follow on my thing um, – I broke into a prison um, and there's the Glades Correctional Facility in Florida. Now this is last month. And so last month we went to uh, the Glades Correctional Facility. Now this is a very famous, um, I've been urbexing like crazy guys. The Glades Correctional Facility is a very famous prison because um, if you look it up guys, Google it. Um, back maybe two decades ago, um, seven murderers, and this is in Florida, seven murderers escaped from this Glades Correctional Facility. And what they did is they dug a tunnel underneath the uh, underneath the uh, the prison. They went into church. This It's ridiculous, but it's true. They actually did this. There's a chapel on the premises, and they dug a tunnel from the chapel all the way underneath, <laughs> and they escaped. Well, we decided to go to this prison because it hasn't been used for two decades. Well, hello from Turkey. And we got in there and it was like the most I've ever felt like Call of Duty because we're like running around and we're going into places and like we're hiding behind walls. And it was awesome. Guys, I can't tell you how amazing I feel. I feel better than I've ever felt. And the reason for that is because I got my hip surgery. And I still have ankle problems, but I got my hip surgery. And that is something that I've been waiting on for, geez, almost four decades. I finally got my hip surgery. And now I'm, I'm moving. 
I'm moving out and I'm grooving, baby. And I am just, I am kicking ass. And it is so much fun. I am traveling all over the United States and just wait, wait until this dumb freaking COVID's over. And I'm going to be all over the world doing this stuff. I am on an Urbex model, crazy freaking epic journey. And it has been absolutely crazy. Hey, Chris, uh, tomorrow, <laughs> the reason I mentioned the prison is tomorrow we're going to another prison. Um, and now I will not tell you guys where because <laughs> one of my haters will watch this and they will do something. So uh, I am um, I am going to um, go. So, Chris, I, I know you sent me a message, Chris. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll send you a message back on where we're going to go tomorrow. But tomorrow we're going to go to a prison. Um, and guys, just the stuff that we've done, the, the, the abandoned stuff that we've done has just been off the charts. I haven't done this much since the start of my career. I mean, we did, um, we've done abandoned shipwrecks. We've done so much crazy, crazy stuff. So, uh, I'm super excited to share all of it with you guys. I really am. Um, hi from the, the Faroe Islands. Well, hello. Is it Jarter or is it Bajarter? I don't think it's Bajarter. It's probably Yarder would be my guess. Yarder. Thompson would be my guess. Can you give us a hint on the new Rotolite? Yes, the new Rotolite is awesome. The new Rotolite does a lot of stuff. Almost pretty much anything that you could want with a light. It flashes at LEDs. Um, all the colors you could possibly think of. Um, powerful. It's awesome. New Rotolite comes out on Thursday. So you guys are going to see a new video with the new Rotolite from me on Thursday. Um, and it's, 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 it's really cool stuff. It's really cool stuff. So just to kind of give you guys around the, the, uh, the YouTube landscape, we need to shoot Urbex in uh, Pennsylvania and Maryland. Absolutely. I'd love to. Do you have any workshops near DC? Uh, I'm, I'm going to start workshops again, guys, in 2021. Uh, and, and I can't wait. Uh, you still got the haters. I don't worry about the haters. Haters ain't flying around the world shooting crazy fun stuff. This dog is. That's right, baby. That's me. At any rate, Scott Porter, you're back. Oh, my gosh. Guys, if you don't know Scott Porter, you want to hear a funny freaking story about Urbex? Scott Porter is like 100 years old. Okay, He really is. He's old. Now, he's probably in real life only about, I don't know, 65, but he's old. He's one of those old, curmudgeonly old men, and he's listening to this, and I love that he's listening to this. And so we were in Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana has an old abandoned theater. And um, when I'm coming to San Antonio, absolutely. And so we're in Gary, Indiana, and I tell Scott to go up behind the theater <laughs> and hold the light, hold the roto light. Well, Scott goes behind it's the stage. Scott goes behind the stage, and I wish I was good at sound effects because what – do I have the roto light now? Yes, I do. But, but the if – you guys could hear Scott. It's like this. Those are his footsteps. Boom. <laughs> Scott fell through the floor. It was hilarious. And he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> and you, I know you guys would think, oh, geez, he's laughing at this poor guy. But no, I mean, it's Scott. If you knew Scott and you guys were there, you would have laughed too. Because that's Scott. I mean, you love Scott, but when Scott falls through the floor – it's kind of a good day. <laughs> Scott knows I love him. I look great. Thank you. I feel great. I feel freaking fantastic, guys. I really do. Um, come to uh, Oregon for moss. Lots of green moss. <laughs> Absolutely. You miss Emily. Emily's amazing, guys. Emily's amazing. And I miss her, too. And I love her to death. And she's off doing speech. Um, but all the all the love in my heart to Emily. She's She's an amazing person. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I love her. You need to make a blooper video? Uh, I do. I do. A blooper video would be, you are looking slim. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. When you fly into Iceland for a shot. Oh, dude, as soon I Iceland's on my bucket list, mother freaker. As soon as um, this stupid COVID thing's over, I'm going <laughs> to. Did you call me F nuts? <laughs> I'm doing great. Justin Daniels, do I remember you, Dad? Didn't we kiss somewhere back along the way some way? 
Uh, sneak peek of the light. I'm not going to give you a sneak peek of the light. Two days. All you got to wait is two days, mother freaker. Two days and you're going to be able to see the light. Hope family is good. God bless. Thank you. Uh, what's the size of that roto light? It's about this big. Just kidding. It's, it's Scott Porter's calling me, guys. <laughs> Scott, I'm not answering your phone call. You fell through the stage. You know you fell through the stage. Now look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Come on, Apple. You can do better with white balance than that. Now it made me orange. Well, Cecil Levi. Anyway, when are you coming out with more videos? I need to learn more from the best. Oh, thank you. What's cracking, yo? Um, more videos, guys. There's gonna be a new video. There's gonna be a new video coming out on Thursday, and then one shortly thereafter. Stanley Wilson says, my wife and I just opened up a photography studio in Hampton Roads, Virginia, and would like to speak to someone on your staff about doing a workshop at our location. Well, currently, as it's currently constructed, my staff, staff consists of me. It is me. That is who you would speak with. So uh, I am not, I haven't been in a hurry to, uh, to have an, another assistant at this point. So as of right now, that is just me, myself, and I. Uh, how's photography going over quarantine? I love photography. In fact, okay. Now anyone who has suffered over, over COVID, it's the worst. Okay. Well, not the worst. I mean, let's face it. Cancer is a lot worse than COVID. Okay. But, um, let me just say, there's a lot of great positives about traveling during this time of more restricted things. There's no traffic. There's ample parking. Um, <laughs> Uh, flying is fantastic. I mean, other than having to wear a mask the entire time on the plane, flying is fantastic. I mean, you don't have, you never have someone sitting next to you. It's, uh, it's, it's honestly awesome. My photography game. This is not the A7R3. Well, I don't know what they're talking. Your camera to stream. Oh, well, it's, this is the, yeah, this is just the Mac guys. I'm, I'm sitting here in a hotel room in New Orleans. Uh, my, <clears throat> what camera are you currently using? Oh, A9. Primarily the A9. I'm primarily using the A9 right now. You need to do more videos so you won't be flooded with questions. Um, <laughs> Scott. Now, this is typical Scott. He is a victim, okay? Listen to what he says. You tried to kill me, <laughs> and it didn't work. I was holding a camera, not a, not a roto light. No, Scott, That's see, that's where the senility kicks in. If you remember correctly, you were holding a light. <laughs> God, I wish I could show you him. Oh, oh. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. Um, uh, how is the A7C? I don't know. I haven't used the A7C. Uh, I need to reach out to Sony. Sony sends me stuff if I ask. They're awesome. I other people at Sony. I've just, guys, I've been into creating. I haven't been into big freaking reviews over this and that. I've been into creation, and it, is, it has been so inspiring for me to do it. I am the mother freaking man. Thank you, my man. Did you make a Halloween video this year? Dude, check my channel. We did a huge Halloween special that was released the day before Halloween. Check it out. It is awesome. Uh, hi, Jason. I noticed you are shooting more with the A7, the Sony A9. That's great. Since I love the A9, what happened to shooting the R3? My R3 died, guys. My R3 has committed suicide. Um, and so I Sony has asked me to send it to them, and I need to. But my... A7R3 jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, that part's not true. I'm just making a reference to how something would die. Um, my A7R3 is is in my bag, but I need to send it to Sony. That's it. that's pretty much it. Um, you still have back aches from that famous luggage? <laughs> yeah, my my luggage will give you back, back aches. There's no doubt about that. You can connect your Sony camera to your computer to stream. Yes, you can. How do you fit the fix the four the, the orange color on the A9? Use a gray card. Still working late and listening to you in the background. Did you say you're coming to Pennsylvania? Hey, that's that's very good suggestiveness there. Um, I absolutely would love to come to Pennsylvania. I, I'm gonna, guys. Here's the thing. If you guys want to shoot with me, and I'm being so legit about this, and it's happened over and over and over again the last couple of months. Here's how it happens. You send me cool stuff and you say, hey, if you come here, here's some cool models. Here's some cool locations to shoot. And then I come. It's really that simple. That's why I'm sitting here in New Orleans. I was over in Florida screwing around, getting busted and stuff at the at the prisons. God, I got we got <laughs> why do you see what we did in a in, in an abandoned gym? Um, but uh, am I going to WPPI? Of course. I mean, if that's if they're doing it. But um at any rate, no, I, you guys just have to say, Jason, here's some cool stuff. You come and I, I come to you and then we shoot and we have fun. 
So this is a, like a rare opportunity in 2020 where I'm not focused on any workshops. I'm just, I'm just like screw workshops for 2020. Let's just shoot and have fun and create and do some amazing stuff. And then in 2021, we'll get back to some semblance of normalcy. Do you think that A7R2 is good in low light? It's okay. Nikon Z6 and 7 release an update to your camera to stream video when plugged in USB. Now that's awesome. I, guys, I have a whole streaming setup at my house with a capture card with uh with my sony's i, I have a i'm just sitting here on i'm as i'm sitting in a hotel room you know what i mean know what i mean jelly bean you think the sony ace uh hello jason what's up Heidel rojas good to you jason i'll find a place and i'll have a great model that's it my brother that's the sound you make when you see me what I, <laughs> suicide <laughs> scott porter said that love your photos man just love them thank you manuel Santa Maria de Guadalupe. Someone asked you, he needs to buy a new camera and whether to go Sony or Canon. What's what would be your answer? Ooh, I don't know. I'd probably say Sony. Depends on Canon. Depends on how much money you have. If you're a baller and you got money out the wazoo, um, the Canon glass is awesome. But I love Sony too, guys. I do. I love Sony's. Um, Harry Harrison, what's up, my man? Lots of empty buildings here in Latvia for future travels. I gladly li hold light stands. I'd love that. Send me the stuff, guys. Jason at jlpros.com. Email me this stuff. We set up times. That's all I did with uh, Sweet or Do or Russ. Russ, keep going. Russ, keep going. <laughs> and so uh, if you guys want me to come out to you, all you do is you know, say, hey, Jace, we want you to come, and I come out. It's pretty much that simple. I'm, I'm having the time of my life. I haven't shot this much forever. A lot of it is due to my hip. My hip is, is uh, so much better and it's made an enormous difference uh, for my, my zeal and my desire to get out there and shoot. My hip has, has been transformative. And you guys got to understand something too. I mean, I had my hip surgery in February. We're talking three weeks before lockdown. And so all of my physical um, therapy, everything was canceled. Um, and so, because I live in communist California and so what I had to do was just do it on my own. So around May and June, I just started walking, 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 walking. And the walking has led to this led to re a reduction in my, um, my panza, which is Spanish for like my belly. Um, but, but that's what I've done. And it's been absolutely exhilarating and invigorating and it's been very rejuvenating. So What's really happened over the last couple of months is I, I walked and walked and walked in July. And then when, when August really hit, my body kicked in, guys. It just kicked in and I, I took off. And it's been amazing. Um, other than the COVID junk, it looks like you're back on track and back to crushing it. Baby, I am crushing it. You know you know that. You know that's for sure. Did I ever take a, a legal action? I will not discuss legal matters, but no legal action has ever been taken against me. What a shaka! Ingrates. All right. <laughs> Did you? Uh, we'll look for some cool places in Utah. You got to come and shoot with my models. I love, oh, Paraportrait. Yeah, you tag me a lot on Instagram. I know who you are, sister. Uh, or maybe you're a mister, or maybe you're a sister mister. I no tengo idea. So you, yeah, you, you, I, Utah's great for some of that stuff, dude. Utah, the Bonneville Salt Flats, hell yeah. You're an inspiration for me. Thank you, Kosala. Uh, Malta will blow your mind. I'd love to come to Malta. Come to NOLA. Welcome to NOLA. Can't wait to see the pictures. Thank you, J-Rock. Uh, has your hip also let you be able to train more now? It, absolutely. Absolutely. I can do a lot more. The hip was very restrictive. I, um, I still have severe ankle issues. Like I have to have my ankles fused. But what I am really doing, guys, is instead of um, fusing my ankles, because the doctors flat out told us that to fuse my ankles will be about a year recovery on each ankle and you cannot do them simultaneously. And so as a result, um, I can only do my ankles one at a time, which means I'd be out for two years, which hell no, I'm not doing that. So no, that's what we're up to. I'm trying to cut my weight, which I am. I'm not trying to cut my weight. I am cutting my weight. I'm feeling great. My legs and my arms and my body feels better than ever. And um, back to crushing it, crushing it. I'd like to say that you're content is one of the best photography channels on YouTube. You show us how to use gear, not just revere, not just review gear. F the haters. Couldn't agree more, my man. And thank you. Apart from the G master lens, what would be the best 2470 for my R3? Um, Tamron, don't get the Zeiss. 
Scott, you're going to come to me. <laughs> Scott, you need permission to get out of the old folks home. <laughs> Will you be in DC for inauguration of the president? Absolutely. Whoever it is, I'll be there. Absolutely. I've been to the last three and I'm not going to miss number four. Uh, I'm a man and <laughs> yes, you are an inspiration. <laughs> Good to know, Para. Uh, what are we having here? Watching from Philippines. We are having um, Diet Mountain Dew. This is sponsored by Diet Mountain Dew. And it's good stuff. I, um, what when you come into Denver, Colorado? I'd love to come to Denver, De to Denver, Colorado, guys. I say it again. You want me to come? You want to? You want to assist me? You you guys want to do this with me? I won't do this again. Not to this level. I will be. I will be out doing workshops and stuff. This is like very rare time for me to be out just doing this stuff. And I'd say I'll be doing this January and February of 2021 as well. Because who knows what the hell is going to happen with freaking lockdowns and everything else. But I'll be doing this for at least another three or four months. So if you have something fun, if you have something like ridiculous, send me the, the, send me the details. Let's get some models together and let's crush it for reals. Um, uh, Sigma or Tamron? Oh, they're both, they're both about the same. Ben Amejico? Yo, if we had Dallas at the workshop, your turn. Great workshop, by the way. Thank you, Ramon. I want to come to Mexico. Am I able to get into Mexico right now? I don't think I am. This freaking white boy. I don't think I'm able to go to Mexico right now. Love that you seem to be on a high and your energy levels are high. Can't wait to see your new work. Did you drink? Did you drive the boat? <laughs> Did I drive the boat while in New Orleans? And if you guys don't know who, what that reference is, there is a, I did a music video with some awesome guys. They spoke about driving the boat. And yes, that has a sexual connotation. So to answer your question, Lex, no, there has been no driving of any boats. Um, I have been a, a happy, content solo passenger. There has been no driving of any boats here in New Orleans. Um, nice do. Do the do. Yes. And the funky chicken, too. Absolutely. If I'm anywhere near you, I would love to. Thank you, J.M. Uh, some, some many cool places here in the South of Iceland. Oh my gosh. And you know what the girls look like here? I don't. <laughs> what do they look like in Iceland? <laughs> um, <laughs> what's the website to get you to come back, come to San Antonio? Just send me an email, but you guys, you, you, this has to be like great stuff. Like not just, Hey, we have the Alamo. I've seen the Alamo and I can't really do much in the Alamo. So you got to send me stuff. That's really cool to shoot. Another place that I'm, I want, I need to get into is Chernobyl. Um, what are you doing in New Orleans? Taking a picture, taking a picture on that cop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you need to come to Birmingham to Swiss Furnace. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Blonde and tall. All right, Mike, send me some information. See you putting in the work. Yes, absolutely. Hi from Australia. Hello. Uh, stupid spell check. Sloss Furnace. I, I thought I did Sloss Furnace. No, I did carry furnace. I did carry furnace in Somos Nos. Absolutely. Lockdown, maybe. Locked up for sure. Uh, I did this the carry furnace in, um, I think, Pittsburgh, I think. Pennsylvania is crazy right now. Y'all need, need to get your accounts together. <laughs> we'll send you some info for a great area to shoot in Michigan. Ooh, I'd love that. I'd love that. I'd love that. I'd love that. Um. So at any rate, guys, I just wanted to be able to touch base with you guys. I wanted to be able to say hello. I wanted to be able to, to kind of update you on, on what I'm doing. And uh, Virginia, D.C., I was just in D.C. like well, a week ago. I was just in D.C. a week ago, mis amigos, just una semana pasado. Um, but uh, I was just in D.C. a week ago. I was there to film the in, inaugura or not the inauguration, the election, because had Trump won, there would have been riots. Let's just be real. And so um, – that's why I was there. And since the uh, <laughs> since the results are inconclusive at the current moment, um, no riots. ND filters thoughts. Um, not a big fan of ND filters. Next time I'm doing a shoot with you. Ooh, nice. Uh, am I am I the model? Are you the model? What are we doing here? Can I fill me in on what what's going on? Would love to see you come to Canada again. Banff and the Rockies specifically. I'd be in for sure. I'd love that. I'd love that, David. Um, Again, Canada is, is a no-go right now for, for, for us because of COVID. I need your physical rehab. Just discharged from hospital today because of my knee, and I need to get back on the Jason Workshop train. I'm in the wheelchair guy, met in Pasadena. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? That's awesome, Matt. 
that's awesome. I remember you. Um, you know, it's funny. My doctor said something to me and it's paid off big, big time. And it sounds so simple. Um, but he says, when it hurts, walk. When you're frustrated, walk. When you're sad, walk. When you're happy, walk. And um, guys, I want to I'll make something very clear. This wasn't an easy rehab. My right leg, even today, is two inches taller than my left. It's significantly taller. My right leg is significantly taller. And I went from my right leg being uh, about a half inch shorter than my left leg to two inches taller. And the reason for that is um, if you're, when they do a hip surgery, if your uh, hip that is replaced, if that leg is shorter than your regular leg, uh, it can really result in a possible dislocation. And that is the absolute worst thing that can happen with walking. So, or uh, with a, with a hip replacement surgery. So walking has been, and was very, very, very difficult. Um, and it was almost, I mean, just, if you would watch me walk, I mean, the, 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 the height differential was, was intense to this day. I'm wearing lifts in my shoes. And even with the lifts, you can see the difference, but it is, but your body adjusts, you know, your pelvis, it actually changes and adjusts. And I know this isn't photography, but that's what I went through. And so, as hard as it was, man, I walked every day and, and, you know, they, they said, it, they say it can take up to a year to really for the swelling and everything to go down, but it's, it's, it's been great. And um, big thanks to everyone who helped uh, make that possible from my family to Emily. Emily helped a lot with that. And I love her for that. I love Emily and, um, and I wish her the best. I love her and I wish her the best. And she was a big help and a big inspiration to me getting my hip surgery. So I'm very grateful to her. And uh, I think the world of her. She's a, she's a wonderful woman. Um, have I ever tried the Viltrox copies? No, I have not. Call you? I'm not calling you, Scott. <laughs> I love you, but now you're going to tap my phone. You're going to do something crazy to me. Uh, have you ever have you ever shot Filipino models? Jeez, I think I've shot. I think I've shot like people. Yes, I have. Actually, I have. I remember I have shot Filipino models. Has Emily moved on? Yes, Emily has moved on, guys. Guys, we thought we'd get a year out of Emily, and we got two. And they were two um, unforgettable years. And so, yes. Um, losing the weight, my man, will you need you will need to replace the Fedora collection with smaller sizes. Yes, I will. What do you think about the Luminar AI? I don't know much about the Luminar AI. I haven't played with it. Oh, I loved her. Still do. Absolutely. Every reason to love her. Great lady. Um no others model. You need me. You need you teach me to shoot. Jason Sloan says. So you want a one on one? Absolutely. I'll, I'll send you an invoice. <laughs> you come into the UK again soon, Jason? Absolutely. Um, did Emily die? No, Emily's not dead. She's alive and well. Very successful lady. Very educated, beautiful, smart. Emily's doing great. She doesn't need anything from me. Um, um, am I coming to the UK? Um, no, not immediately because of COVID, but as soon as all this lifts, um, then yeah, absolutely. I'd love to come to the, I'd love to come to the, uh, uh, to the UK. Is a seven three, the best affordable all rounder, Jason? I still think it is. I still think it is. Even all these years later, I still think it is. Um, when you come to the UK, beat the heck out of the Kung Fu boy guys. I'm all about peace and love. I'm all, I'm all, I, I am in a good place in my life right now and, uh, I'm very grateful for it. And, um, for the people who wish to do you harm in your life, let them out of your life. You know, it's interesting. Somebody sent me a video a while back. It's a Tyler Perry video and it's, it's, it's a, it's a really great video. And they talk about how, you know, in life you have people come into your life that are leaves that are branches and that are roots. And I know it sounds really corny, but it's really true. Um, holding on to somebody who doesn't want to hold on to you is, is, is a, is a waste of your time, talent, and energy. And so when somebody's in your life and then they don't want to be part of it, um, or somebody's doing you harm or whatever it may be, um, uh, just getting that toxicity out of your life is, is really the way to go. Uh, I don't care if they're haters. I don't care if they're people. I don't care whoever it may be guys, um, live a positive, happy life. And that that's really what I'm doing. Scott Porter, gotta go. I love you, Scott. Um, Jason, have you had any issues with the Red Light Neo 2 with the A92? I have not. 
uh, you can't afford me. I'd like to do a workshop, but none, none are in the area. Well, we're going to get to the workshops, guys. We're going to get to those next year. But just right now, I'm just shooting and having fun. So if you want to play with me, send me some fun stuff to do. And it's got to be good fun stuff, guys. Don't say, hey, here's a park next to my house. Uh, that's nice, but I'm not going to fly out there for that. I shoot sports with a DSLR. I feel like a dinosaur being left behind with mirrorless. You are, David. Get out of the dinosaur age. You know, don't be like Scott Porter. And, uh, you know, get out there. Get out there. Positive vibes and blessings. And, guys, I know, and I love you guys. And let me tell you why I love you guys. You guys know the trials and tribulations. Some of you know some of the stuff that's gone on. And um, you can dwell on those things in your life, my friends, or you can live. You can dwell on every negative thing that's gone wrong in your life and the people who have harmed you and the people who have betrayed you and the people who have left you and the people who have um, set forth to make your life miserable. You can focus on those people and you can go after those people and you can set, you can seek retribution and revenge on those people or you can live. And that I cannot say any more clearly. You can set your goals on living your own life or trying to destroy someone else's. And as long as you're trying to destroy and or seek revenge on somebody else, you are not living your life. I hope you listen to that. And for people who ask what I've done with this person or that person or this person, or that person, I am living. And that is the most articulate way I can tell you as to how I handle my business. Because any time that you spend chasing somebody else's hate is time you don't spend chasing your love. That's true. Hi, Jason. Thanks for all your info. You've been a huge influence, inspiration on my photography style, and I appreciate all of your videos and effort. You're welcome. Yes, I saw you rocking when you walked. Absolutely. Have you been shooting here in New Orleans? I am here right now. Uh, living the dream, Jason. I am living my dreams, and my dreams are just to live, guys. That's it. Uh, there will always be haters anywhere, where, wherever your walk of life is. Just stick to those who love you. <laughs> that's just so. That's so true. Feed your flock, not your haters, guys. Would you ever? Would you ever have a beer with Ken Wheeler in the future? Despite his hate for Sony, I'm sure he loves you really. No, uh, I would not. Uh, I tried that. We sat down. We, as you guys know, we had pizza together, and I did everything in my power to bridge that gap. So what I put myself up, no, I, I, I can forgive, but I would be an absolute fool to forget. So no, I would never do that again. Absolutely not. Can't wait until the border opens up for you to come back through Vancouver. Um, absolutely, I, guys, I can't wait to get back. Uh, you fell off the planet for a while. Glad to see you're back. More videos, please. I didn't fall off the planet, guys. I, COVID happened. I did a doc. I did documentary work on COVID. I had hip surgery. I mean, life does happen. Uh, you showed your class as a photographer. Thank you. Uh, we can still call you names, right? If you say names with love, you can call me names, guys. I love you. Yo, great stuff, my man. Thank you, Paul Palumbo. Well, guys, guess what? I have videos to make for you. I was so jazzed. I just wanted to tell you about um, uh, going to miss you this year, Profusion. I know, I know. This freaking COVID thing sucks. It sucks. And the hypocrisy on COVID is what I can't stand. That's why I don't want to hear anyone talking to me about flying or going whatever else. Everyone has an excuse for doing what they want to do during COVID, and that's the GD reality of it. For reals, that's the reality. If you want to do something, you'll find a mass gathering of some way, shape, or form, whatever political persuasion you are, you will find a mass gathering that you can attend and absolve your, of yourself of all guilt. That's the truth. So this sucks. <laughs> what is the new road light? It is called the Jason Lanier Beat Your Ass. This is a kick-ass light. That's what it's called. Um, uh Jason, please make lots of videos. It will help get your mind off everything. I don't need my mind off of anything. I am so lucid and clear and free right now, and I feel great. Um, Melbourne opening up. No new no new cases in the past 11 days. I, I heard Australia's on a freaking lockdown, guys. Um, um, I won't need to call in sick to work this time, though, to hang out. I know, no doubt, no doubt. And you guys, you guys, I always open it up. 
So guys, you got to follow Instagram. You got to follow all this other stuff because I always open it up to people and tell them um, that they can um, yeah, join me on all these adventures. Um, when am I coming back to Miami? Can you start making longer videos? Yes, I can. <laughs> I need some of your old gear. <laughs> can, do you have anything to donate to a new small business? Yeah, I can send you uh, a, a RL48. <laughs> Quebec is on lockdown and Toronto is on lockdown Saturday. I know. I just heard on the radio that San Diego and a bunch of other places are going on lockdown again. It's ridiculous. If you're here on a weekend, I'll take you out to the bayou. Oh, Adam, that would be great, my man. I wish I could. And I would love to have you come, Adam, but you said you could only do like after after 3 or 4 o'clock or something. And I would love to have you, but that's unfortunately we're already in the middle of stuff by that point. Have you ever tried to calibrate your camera to, to a meter and then take a meter reading and calibrate your camera to it? No. Nunca. Never. Uh, people have no idea how much footage you have for videos. No, they really don't. <laughs> they really don't. My biggest creation or my biggest problem is actually creation. I was born to create. I just born to create. And so I just keep creating. I can't stop. I love it. I can't be choosy. Have you ever tried a Fuji X? No, I haven't. Whatever that is. Hello, Jason. Any plans to travel to Rhode Island or Massachusetts in the future? Actually, there is. I'm going to be doing a workshop in Massachusetts. It's a makeup workshop, and I need to get it done. So I'll be doing that very – it'll be doing that in the near future. COVID is business here? Yeah, no doubt. Guys, they pay $42,000 or something if you get COVID and die from COVID. And if your death is listed as COVID, you, the, the hospitals get reimbursed by the government. I mean, <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> well, guys – See you later, Simon. Um, uh, peace off, me amigo. Uh, San Diego here. We just slipped into purple tier. Not a full lockdown, but it will get more restrictive. That sucks, my man. That sucks. Look forward to, to, to do that in Massachusetts. Uh, do you the location? Do I know the location? No, I do not. Hello from Prague. You're a legend. Like your videos a lot. Stay safe. Thank you, Jack Sneaks. Sup? Guys, I have so much stuff. I mean, I have... I have videos like from Auschwitz from three years ago that I shot. It's it's it's, I it's just insane the amount of footage that I have to put out. One thing I would like to see, says Jeff Burmester, don't think I've seen this in a video from you, is a shoot of a group of people, i.e. a family style photo shoot. Would be interesting to see how you would go about this. Yeah, I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. Um, well, we'll see what happens. Hospitals get funny for COVID care in general. Unfortunately, sometimes that includes deaths. Yep. Hi, Jason. Just noticed this. and just want to say hi from Utah. Good to see your face. Well, thank you. Uh, behind each film grain. Uh, that's kind of a cool name. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, my children, my seeds. I love you guys. Super duper mucho. I got to go. Uh, how is there How is there less than 100 people on here? There should be thousands with your words of wisdom. People don't know what they're missing. It's just algorithms, algorithms, my friends, algorithms. Uh, Jason has a great video where he did a volunteer shoot at a shelter. That Oh, that's a good, that's a good choice. Hey, Jason, trying to get a, the Sony Alpha 7 line of cameras. What is the best option for a budget? Uh, A7 III. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I up to I stayed up to watch you. Like, hey, Vaz, how you doing? Vaz and I, hey, where was that place that we ate in the UK, man? We ate somewhere. What was that chicken place? What's the chicken <laughs> <laughs> There's some chicken place in um, in the UK. I think we ate there. Um, it is late here in the UK, 1 a.m., so low viewers here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just horse and tobacco farms. Nando's, that's right. Nando's. You guys have not lived until you've gone to a Nando's in the UK. Good, good stuff. All right, two days. New World of Light video coming out. You guys are going to love it. And um, I'm super excited to uh, to share all of it with you guys. So thank you for watching. I love you. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate your support. And just remember in life, guys, it's you need to gravitate and focus your energy, your passions, and your love on those who give it to you. And I know that sounds really cliche to say, but you know, I, I hear online and you see the social media and it's so toxic and negative and you see all this stuff going on and you know, I've really got come to a place with me as a person with however big or small my following is and however good or bad my life is going. 
I've really gotten to a place where I'm focusing on the people who want me, who love me, and um, and I focus on them back. And that includes all of you guys on here. So I don't focus on the haters. I don't focus on the naysayers. I focus on the people who are part of my family. And you guys are my YouTube family. You're my social media family. You're my photography family. And I love you. And I'm incredibly grateful for all of you. So um, spread love, guys, and spread positivity. And it will come back to you like a boomerang. It really will. So I love you guys. Until next time, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find a girl that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate and love each and every one of you and your support. I'll talk to you guys later.